Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukoden 3. In the last episode, we defended the castle against the evil counselor, and now we're free to do what we want. Isn't that great? The first thing I'm gonna do is come over here and see if I can get me a goddamn rose brooch. Anyways, and all, yeah, like I said, Thomas and his friends are free from at least the council for now. As we help Hugo escape. Oh, look what we got here! Rose brooch, baby! Does the music sound different to you? Wait a minute, what the hell happened here? Oh shoot! I left the grapes! Look at the village! What happened? Shoot, I left the grape. You know what, I can always buy grapes. This is gonna have to be a solo As you can see, the town is kind of burnt down a little bit. And the music has changed. Alright, so we got the rose brooch. And you know what, hopefully I can go back to, uh, I could probably head back to that castle by, m or the, uh, uh, Zexan capital by myself, so. Yeah, I'll just meet you there. All right, we made it back to the capital. Thomas all by himself with a rose brooch. Hopefully I can get Augustine and he'll join my group so I won't have to deal with a couple of those nasty battles on the way. Although he, Thomas isn't doing too bad. He could be doing a lot worse. So yeah, we finally got the rose brooch. I can get this guy and I can go get Bart's. Apparently something happened to, uh, the village there. That stinks. The windmill will no longer be blowing. Which really sucks. Anyways, I also have to get me another grape so that I can recruit him. Hopefully they'll have grapes. If they don't have grapes, I'm gonna be really, really mad. First things first, let's get these grapes. Excuse me, hello, why is he back there? Man your goddamn station in the front here, buddy. Good. Alright, let's talk to Augustine and get him. Out of my way. Hey, I got you your rose brooch. Please join my group right here. I'm putting a group together. Yeah, you are sort of like a magnet. Will you join my group? Sure, I believe it. Whatever, just join. Come with me. Please. Alright, so we finally get Augustine. No, don't walk away. Stay here. Augustine Nabor. No, wait. No. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. Thanks. Anyways, uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Alright, we're back over here at Ixe Village. We got Augustine, now we can get Bart's. And yeah, I did get poisoned, of course. 
course, it's not a game without being poisoned and not having enough antitoxin. As you can see, this village has been burned down. The music is a little different. It kind of sucks. Not that the music sucks, I'm talking about. It stinks that the place got burnt down. I'm not poisoned anymore. What, I just... Magically, after a while, you become unpoisoned? Yeah, so what happened is Bart's lost his field, and now we gotta come and talk him into, uh... Now we gotta kinda talk him back into doing everything. It's kinda sad that this place burnt down. Well, can we get him back working? sucks. Yeah, farming is pretty cool. Why don't you come to Buddha Castle? There's a lot of open space and a farm would be a great thing. It would be self-sufficient. Of course I have some grapes. So I have grapes, buddy. Of course they're for you. So we got Barks to join our group. And he's not an attacker, he's more of a support character. Doing his field work, making our gar making our castle more self-sufficient. The vineyards of Buddha Castle. We can sell them for a pretty penny. I wonder if there's a, such a thing as, since we are basically on the ocean, I wonder if there's such a thing as like an ocean wine. Wouldn't that be kind of neat? Ocean wine. We'll put our castle back on the map. So let's head back. I think that's it for Thomas's chapter. The only thing I couldn't get was a uh, was a uh, super because uh, if you get a um, an item that uh, what is it? If you get an item that. Uh, that has an S, like an antique that has an S and you put it in the main room. You can actually recruit Billy and then you can recruit Melville, but we can't get anything from from there until we hit Hugo's chapter. Anything new, Cecile? And I think uh, Bart's is, uh, I think he starts a thing down here. And I wonder if the ocean air is good for, uh, I wonder if the ocean air is good for, uh... So what we need to do is find seeds, and then he can start growing crops. Although I'm not sure this is the best place to do it on the side over here. But at least it's away from the ocean. Again, I don't know about the ocean. And, and uh... You know, plants growing around there. I always figured the salt would probably make it not a good environment to actually grow things. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. And I'll continue to be wrong. Oh shit! It's Leo and... er... Yeah, is it... Roland and Percival? No. Leo and Percival. 
What the hell do these guys want? Can I help you? What do you, what do you need? They brought out the big shots for this one. Oh, so they're they're gonna figure out what's going on with that guy's with that guy. Well, I have the papers here. If I had some sort of Xerox machine, I could Xerox it and then maybe fax it to you, so you could see that the, there's a binding proof. Yeah, what's the th order? What are you talking about? You can't remove me. Yeah, who says? You talking Thomas's dad? Is that who's uh, ordering you? Yeah. So they're making it common land. Oh, well then it's mine. Think about it, if he disowns me, why does Thomas care about his father? His father's a piece of shit. But the, the, the good thing about it is if he disowns him, then he's still the leader of the castle, because it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, do you think you could defeat all those, even with Augustine now that we have him? Hmm? What are we to do? Now we're on an, any, another idea. And why the hell would I go... Why the hell would Thomas go to uh, the capital if, if that's not even where he was born and where he lives? No, that doesn't seem like a good idea. You know, Juan, you're very insensitive. Thomas has been the best master you guys have had in years. Oh! That's not what I meant. It's okay, so you'll stop it. No, I won't. No, don't give up just like that. Why is the team man giving up so easily? So we gotta come over here. I don't know, where the hell do we have to go? Upstairs in my room? Maybe? Let's see, anything new on the newspaper? Oh, yeah.
Let's see if there's something to do. I, I want to say... I want to say there's a scene or something. Someone is around here. Maybe outside in the courtyard. <sighs> so it kind of stinks. I mean, if Thomas is getting disowned by his father, what what purpose is it to go back to Zexon? I guess I'm going right to bed. Whatever. For some reason, I was thinking there was something to do here, but maybe not. Well, yeah, I don't understand why... Like, uh... Why even bother listening to your father now? Tell him, listen, I, you're not giving up this castle. You worked too goddamn hard to get all these people here. Especially to get the goddamn Rose Brooch. I guess I'm just going to bed. No, go to bed. I meant go to bed. He'll be just another boy. People know the part he's playing. So I think this theme here replaces the uh, other theme from the other game, from the other two games. I don't know how many themes there are that are similar, that are in, from the first game there, in this game. Yeah, what are you up to? if Sebastian has a plan or something. Let's talk to Muto here. Or Muto. You want to leave? Of course not. I don't want to leave. This is my home. Let's see if I can go outside. You don't want to walk outside. It's too dangerous. Is that it? You don't want to use the elevator? How about going downstairs? Is it too dark and scary? And I guess we're just gonna go back to bed. So it looks like Sebastian's got everything handled, I guess. You know what? You're a growing girl. You should probably be sleeping too. It's not a voluntary decision. Yeah, it wasn't really Thomas's choice to come here either. Yeah, you were kind of forced to be the master. Yeah. 
yeah, so... And then all they did was... Yeah, well... No, I can't blame you, Frodo. But, you know... When your father's a dick... That's just a shame. Think of it, I know of a castle without a master. What was it named? Oh, never mind. I think I'll make the arrangements to make you the master of the castle. Yeah, well, apparently I am being trouble there. See? And then they want me to go... They want Thomas to go back there. He might as well go back to the Outlands. Well, get rid of two problems at once. How fortunate. Oh. Ah, oh, poor team, man. I feel bad for him. Yeah. Sorry, Cecile, I, I feel bad. At least you know why he told you the truth before he left, right? I guess that's the best thing. So here we are. Thomas is gonna leave. But, you know what? We'll have to save that for the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.